In layer 2, we create the microservice on a Docker image locally, and we let it run on Docker to verify that it works. Have the end in mind. This is our microservice, the outer service, with the REST API Explorer, which runs later on a Docker image on our local machine. Before we start to build the Docker container, we want to understand what it's in, what is the microservice built on, which technology we use. We use following open source technologies to build the microservice. As our Java runtime, we use OpenJ9 with OpenJTK. Our objective is low memory footprint, fast startup time, high application throughput, smooth ramp up in cloud. So we want to take advantage of that for our microservice. Second, we use Open Liberty as our application server inside the container. Open Liberty is very, very flexible in configuration for Java enterprise applications. So we want to use this and take advantage for our microservice. Last but not least, we use MicroProfile to optimize our effort for the Java development of the microservice. MicroProfile has three major layers. One is for implementing RESTful services. The other is for how to operate and scale them and then how to make them observable. We use from each layer one optimization. To build our application, we need the Maven project for the Java. We need to configure the Liberty server and we need the implementation, of course, with our micro profile. So we need to define our image based on the open source technologies. We do not want to start from scratch, so we will use a predefined image to do that. We're using multi-stage build. We're building an environment container and later a production container. In the environment container, we will include all necessary development tools and the source code and build the WAR files. And later on, we will have the production container. The production container contains a Liberty, the micro profile and so on. And we will copy the results from the build to this production container. Now let us build the container locally and run it. A short reminder related to the setup we did. Docker cannot run in Docker. We use the predefined image with the development tools from the internet. And with that, we can no longer work in this terminal session. We have to open up a new terminal session on our local PC to execute our local Docker desktop installation to run the build of the Docker image for the local execution. So we can just copy and paste the build command for our microservice and we can see our multi-stage build with the build of the build environment and our production container. Now we can execute our microservice locally on our container. If the microservice is running locally, we can open up the browser and we can watch the documentation of our microservice in the browser in the Swagger Explorer. We will have right now here. So, okay. Time for the next lab.